Hello and welcome back to the channel. For this episode, I thought we would take a look at the guitar amp sim effect that is built into the Behringer XR18, the X32, and the Midas version of these consoles. Most people are going to use it in one of three ways. For live use in place of carrying an amp, as a backup plan in case their amp would fail at a gig, or for recording. So it is for these ways that I will be demonstrating it in this video. I'll run through the routing, I'll go through the general settings and what they do, and I'll also call up some presets I've created myself for crunch guitar, semi-clean guitar, and bass guitar. I'll start with an initialized console in the XR Edit software. Choose the dual version of the sim. Whether with the XR18 or the X32, you'll want to insert the guitar effects simulator for these purposes. Insert and enable. Make sure to highlight the button. The XR18 has high impedance inputs on channel one and channel two. So I'll use channel one to connect the guitar. If you're using a DI, then it doesn't matter what channel you use. If you have another guitarist or bassist that will be using the sim as well, then they can choose another channel and have an entirely independent guitar amp sim since we chose the dual version. Now let's go to the channel and set our gain. We want the meter to read around minus 18 dBFS on average. Adjust the gain control until the meter is in the ballpark. Okay, so here are the default settings on the guitar amp sim. Now a little guitar amp 101. Master volume down and preamp up is where we first get some breakup and natural distortion. You can toggle the cabinet simulator on and off. Typically, on an amp simulator, the cabinet sim will make an amp sound smoother and warmer. We have buzz. Next is punch. Then crunch. Then drive. The next two are pretty obvious. Low is bass EQ.
highest treble EQ. Okay, so let's load my crunch preset and run through some chords. We can add reverb to make it sound a little less sterile. Let's switch to my semi-clean setting. Let's add a little reverb here. There's even enough variety to use this amp sim effect for bass guitar as well. I've uploaded all of these presets to the Patreon page. If you're using this effect for recording purposes and individual tracks, you'll likely want to go into the routing section. In out to USB sends on the XR18. Normally, you take your signal just after the console preamp. In this case, you'll want to tap the signal later to actually capture the guitar amp sim in your DAW since the amp sim is inserted after that default point. Right click on the guitar channel in the grid to get your choices. You can also see the key explaining your choices below the grid. I'll choose post EQ but it could have been pre-EQ. It depends on whether you want to use and capture the channel strip EQ during the recording of the individual track. If you need more information about using and routing effects in the XR18 and the MR18, then click this link. If you like information like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. There are affiliate links in the Patreon page link in the text below. Check out the other videos, and I will see you next time.